Hi, TIs. <sighs> you know, I was gathering up my trash. You know, I'm so weak now. You know, I have to gather up, you know, trash in the, you know, the grocery bags. You know, I put them in the, the grocery bags, you know, those little plastic bags. And then I load them up on that old lady cart and push it down and you know put it into the the dumpster one by one well you know I was feeling too weak to do it but I didn't want to call my friend Jessica up the street and ask her if one of her boys could help me you know her boyfriend or her son and I said you know San Pedro you have to really good, look for the good, good people here. You know, I've mentioned the Gomez's before, and I've mentioned Miss Jessica before. Her kids are wonderful. You know, her boyfriend's good, too. I knew him before he was her boyfriend. Hold on. Okay, sound is on. <laughs> And, um, you know, he helped, me, he helped me a couple times, you know, before he was her boyfriend. But they live next to the Gomez's. And they're good people. You know, uh, Miss Jessica, she's the one that made me that skateboard lamp, skateboard light out of that skateboard that was sentimental to me. But, well, anyways... You know, from the box that the church gave me and stuff, and a lot of that stuff I can't use, you know, it's kale and, you know, uh, stuff that I can't bite into. Now that all this crap is having me losing my teeth and stuff, you know, so between all the bags of trash and, you know, the, the church box Sunday, you know, I was getting a little bit of gnats, so I had to muster up strength you know, to put it in my old lady cart. And because I was thinking, no, I don't want to call and ask them if one of the guys could help me. Well, anyways, I got all together and I was pushing it downstairs. And guess who pops up? Miss Jessica's son. Like a knight in shining armor, carrying food. Um, you know, earlier... Um, I told Miss Jessica that, um, you know, I was losing my appetite. And me, I love food and I love to eat. But the last time I lost my appetite and I wasn't able to eat was probably 2007 when I had diabetes. When I, when I lost all that weight, you know, it took me about oh year to lose a lot of weight but um and I was steadily marching around that church all night and everything every night but I got to a point to where I couldn't eat and I was nauseated and then I went down to 96 pounds so you know I I called Miss Jess today and I told her that I was losing my appetite, that I was trying to eat, but, you know, you know, I was trying to eat and stuff, but I'm losing my appetite. So if she makes anything, she goes, oh, she goes, we got, um, you know, we have, um, uh, roast in the cock, cr crock pot, you know. She goes, I'll make sure you get some. So that he was holding, you know, he was holding this. Coming upstairs while I was going downstairs with that, <laughs> with that old lady cart full of trash. <clears throat> so I put the, the food upstairs and he helped me. But the thing about it was, it was in my head that, you know, I wasn't going to call her and ask her if, if 
any of her guys were available to help me, you know, and I am really weak right now. But, um, yeah, she sent me food. There are good people in San Pedro. Just don't be fooled by their masks. You get me? Because there are some really good people. You just got to find them. You just got to find them. Because the people that I thought were good and decent and stuff, when this shit happened, they totally changed. You get me? But, um, <laughs> yeah. And she even, she even made sure, she knows I like the juice. She knows I like the juice and stuff, and so I'm going to save half of this, and I'm defrosting a butter, because I like to put bread and butter and throw juice all over it. But doesn't that look just, I can't see if you can see it. It looks beautiful. And I want to eat it. <sighs> So, whether I feel like eating it when I take my first bite or not, I'm going to force myself. And I told her son, you know, if it looks like I've lost any more weight for her, him or, or his, his mom to let me know. Because if I lose any more weight, and mind you, I've been losing weight, <clears throat> and all I do is lay here once in a while I feel good enough to get up and do something but <clears throat> for me to be losing weight and to be eating like I do you know I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and I'm hungry and you know and for as much soda as I drink you know when I did lose when I did go on that one diet the one diet I've I've ever been on my whole life and that was just so I didn't have to wake up to a, a needle and so I lost my diabetes yeah cutting out soda that was like almost 15 pounds or so so I figured the soda would be putting on weight but it's not you know I love chocolate <clears throat> cheese puffs you know, soda, and I love soda, <laughs> but, um, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, thank God, you know, since, since my, my cousin dropped off groceries at one time, and I love my baby cousin, but he's not a baby, he's a grown man, he's got gray, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did get on food stamps, um, somebody from my home team, my homeboy from my neighborhood, you know, he hooked me up with a friend of his and a friend of his pushed me to go through the phone application and stuff again. I say again because my daughter-in-law got me on food stamps the first time I was only on for like four months and then they cut me off. But, um, so yeah, I have food in my fridge, but Miss Jessica makes sure that, you know, I have homemade meals when she makes them. She can't always make them. Hey, none of us can always do stuff, you know what I mean? But, um, when she does, she hooks me up, you know, because... You know, this ain't a place to cook in. I mean, I have that stove that's never been hooked up. And the gas that the gas people turned off. But, you know, I'm cooking on a little plate. And, you know, I did cook hamburgers the other night. Hamburger. A hamburger and a little bit that was left. But, um, you know, I do eat. And... You know, I her son is wonderful. Her kids are great, you know. And I love him. 
And, you know, I told him, I said, if I have to go to the hospital, if I lose, let me know. And tell your mom to let me know if I lose any more weight. Because if I have to go to the hospital, I might have to ask your mom, you know, to take me to the hospital. You know, and get some anti-nauseated medication and some pain medication or something. I said, you know, even if it's just to drop me off and pick me up, I'm sure your mom will do it, right? He goes, my mom would probably stay with you. I said, that's all the better. You know, it's good to have real good people. You know, even if it's only, you know, a couple people or a couple families or a few families, it doesn't matter how many you have. It's just that you have. Just like they say, you know, it's better to have a couple good friends than a lot of friends. And you get me? I mean, I have my home team. But they've helped me through a lot. They've helped me through a lot. And I don't want to be depending on them or asking them. You know, right now I'm off social media because I don't really have Wi-Fi unless I put this out on the freaking um, balcony and just let it upload. But, um, same thing with subscribers. You know, I started out this as a, just documenting what I go through. And, you know, I didn't expect to have any subscribers at all. I was just doing this for me. But, I've been blessed with some good ones. Ones that give me advice you know, send their prayers with me, can sympathize, you know, um, and I really appreciate you guys, I really appreciate you guys, I want to let you know, I mean, some people say it, but you know what, I'm not out there trying to hit it big or make YouTube money or nothing. This is what I want right here. Support. Love. Advice. From you subscribers. That's the only thing I want. Peace out. Peace, love, and laughter. I love you guys.